Hi, this is Linda from Linda Loves Creating. Welcome back. And in this video, I'm putting together the project life spread of November 1st through November 6th, 2022. Or for me, this was the week 44 of my project life album. And for this week, I am working with the Studio Calico Documenter Kit from November 2022. And I'm just starting out by cropping out all of my photos. Okay, so I cut out all my photos and I'm just gonna start kind of laying them out to get an idea of what layout I want with the photos before I even start going through my products. So this week I didn't have a ton of different stories. There was a lot of like fall related stuff and I baked some cookies, I went for a hike, I voted, I did some crafting. I don't love these two next to each other. Of course, I'm, I always just kind of get a basic idea, but that doesn't mean that's what I'm gonna stick with. And then I'm going to look through my supplies and kind of get an idea of what's gonna go into each pocket. So this week I'm working with the Studio Calico Kit from November 2022. Um, as of the end of 2022, I canceled my Studio Calico subscription. So I'm no longer gonna be working with these kits into 2023, but I do still have a couple of them to use up. Um, and I of course have some older supplies that I will be using as I try to crush those older kits. So I've been using the word veneer all year. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna kind of go through the kit and see what I want to include. Um, I have a few, four by four photos in four by six pockets. So I might put um, like a four by six card behind there, but I, I'm not sure yet. So there's also this card that says November, but of course I don't want that and that. But the back is actually really pretty. Um, the butterfly is pretty colors, but I'm not sure. I don't really love that one. Do you think? Mm. I do kind of like the butterfly motifs, like they're pretty. And there's all these butterfly die cuts, but it doesn't really go with my page and my stories. Um, so I'm thinking either I want to do like, I feel like this one's just too busy. And then I could do like this, kind of like that. Yeah, and then there's these, but then and that's also kind of cute to do like that. I think I'm going to go with that as an option, but I'm going to put this one to the side to keep in mind as maybe something I'll swap out there. And then I'm just going to kind of go through the three by four cards, which there's always so many more. None of those four by six cards really worked for behind these. So I'll either go into my stash or I'll do something like this with a three by four card. Like this one, I could do like thankful for these moments. Oh, this is a card. And put like this right here. So I'm just going to kind of go through these cards and lay them out. So these kits come with a ton of three by four cards. So I always try to cut some of them up, but for some reason, this kit just wasn't really speaking to me in terms of cards that had things to cut out, but I was just kind of laying out cards that I thought would work as journaling cards and pulling some other ones to go behind those four by four photos and a few others to cut some things out. As you can see, most of the cards didn't end up making it into the spread, first of all, because there's just so many in these kits, but also a lot of them just didn't really fit the colors for me. I really love that positive vibes card, and so what you're going to see me do here in a second is refer to my sticky note there, which includes all of the stories that I want to tell, and figure out how many journaling cards I actually need. And I had designated four journaling cards on the spread, but it turns out I didn't need that many. So I was able to swap one of them out with that positive vibes card as a filler card. To me, I really do like the look of the filler cards, but that's always last. I want to make sure that all of my words and photos are included first. And once I have those, then I will add filler cards. 
The kit came with these fabric strips that had words printed on them. So I had originally sought out to use them all on this spread, but there's just too many. But I do end up using quite a few of them. And I use that kind of as my main embellishment across the spread. I just lay them out as many as I could fit that had sentiments that worked. Most of the sentiments were very general. So they worked for my photos, even though they weren't really that um, fitting for my photos. And um, so I just kind of laid them out. And then now I'm going to go through and put each card together. As usual, I tend to start with the title card just because I tend to know kind of what I want to do with it. I'm adhering the wood veneer November across the top of the butterfly there. And then I just stamped the dates with my rolling date stamp. And then I'm just going to go around and adhere each card, put each card together. For these with the three by four card that I'm pairing with the four by four photo in a four by six pocket, I decided not to adhere them onto a backer card, even though I've done that in the past where I put a four by six piece of cardstock behind it to make sure I have the right size. I just kind of eyeballed it and it ends up working. I use the divided page protector as a guide and adhered the three by four card to the back of the four by four photo. Um, for these fabric strips, I'm using my tiny attacher just to adhere them down. And I'm just going to repeat that treatment across the entire spread and add a few other little embellishments here and there from the kit. There's these chipboard pieces and most of the sentiments didn't really work for my spread, but the ones that did, I decided to include. I really liked some of the little circle ones, so I'm including those as much as possible and some of the other little like half circle ones with the butterfly sentiment. Although butterflies to me don't really speak November, they the colors seem to work really well, so I did try to include some of those on this spread. I added one of the uh, um, label stickers from the kit here because I just wanted to add a little bit more of the story onto this card and I do end up doing that again on another one of the cards. Um, this one here, I'm, I took a photo of my voting sticker and um, we have early voting here in New York so I voted early. And so I'm just making a note of that here because election day was actually the following week just so that I didn't get confused and think that this week included election day. It just included the day that I actually went to vote. Um, I decided to fussy cut out this um, butterfly here and include that on this card just as an additional embellishment. I don't actually love how this ends up turning out here. I don't know. It just felt like something was missing to me, but I couldn't really put my finger on what it was. I end up adding a label to make a note about the voting and I I made a I took a larger label thinking I had more to say and it turns out I really didn't um because I think when I originally put it there I thought it was in fact election day and I just wrote early voting and that was it I didn't have anything else to say so I um considered putting one of those strips on there and looking at it back on the video I actually kind of like how that looked but I didn't like how much of the um butterfly it covered up so I ended up leaving it off and you know just kind of leaving it as is and I moved on to other cards sometimes if a card's not working for me I just kind of move on and come back to it later that's one of the things I love about project life if, is it's so easy to kind of just work on each pocket as its own little canvas and it comes together much more easily that way I had a few photos this week that were from me filming a project life process video for you guys. I tend to not include that kind of stuff in my project life because it's just, you know, so repetitive to be like, hey, this is project life about me doing project life. But Pumpkin was being really cute. He was sitting right by me while I was filming and then he kept kind of jumping into my shot to steal the scraps of paper. So I thought that was super cute. So I included some of those, um, including that screenshot from one of my filmed videos at the top there. So that's why those are in this spread. Now I'm moving on to do the bulk of my journaling. I like to do most of my journaling all at once because that kind of gives me the ability to figure out what stories are going to go where. For this week, I had two of these three by four cards that had kind of five bullet points on them. One had a title that says, this makes me happy. So I was putting the stories about things that made me happy on that card. And the other card was including just other stories from the week. And then I had that card that said, this is today. And I'm going to write out this story about 
my Friday off. Um, I have every other Friday off of work and that was fell in this week and I just had a bunch of errands and things that I did that day. So I wanted to write that out, but I ended up writing that out off screen because there were a few notes I wanted to make that I wanted to blur out. And you'll see that in the final photo at the end. Then I'm just going through and adhering down the rest of these embellishments. I had decided to break to do my journaling there because I was considering adding another label on that card with the photos to write about making the photos, but I wasn't sure if I was going to fit that on one of my journaling cards, which I did end up fitting it on a journaling card. So I didn't add anything else onto that card. Now I'm just going back and adding a few little chipboard pieces. Like I added another one to that butterfly, which I think helps a lot with that like weird gap that was on there. And I'm just kind of going through, um, making sure everything is how I like it and slipping it in the pockets. This one came together pretty easily. It was pretty straightforward working just from the kit and not pulling out any other pieces. Um, I took kind of a break from working on Project Life while I was creating my plan prep and play class. And it's kind of, um, hard to get back into the routine of doing it and working with a kit besides the ones that I did in that class, but it was a little bit different approach. So I'm hopefully going to finish up the year of the album pretty soon, and I will share those with you. Here's a look at that finished spread. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.